Hey guys, it's Briseis. So, I have decided to do a vlog on my scalp psoriasis. For years now, I have had psoriasis. It did start on my scalp. Um, it has progressed gradually pretty much everywhere, my face, my body, but my scalp is definitely the place that bothers me the most. As you can see, I do tend to get it like behind my ears is pretty bad as well in my ears it's really it just feels really tight like i feel like you can't really describe it until you have it but it feels like your scalp is just really tight like you could just go like that and your scalp would just like tear apart it's really horrible i've never actually managed my scalp i've always um i've always used shampoo from the doctor capacel shampoo I don't know if it works, it smells, I actually really like the smell, a lot of people hate the smell, to me I'm weird, it smells like mothballs and I absolutely love the smell of mothballs, I could just smell this all day, I've always used that but other than that I've not really done anything, if I get flaky I tend to just literally wash my hair again, so I've decided to actually start managing it, I've done a lot of research and my scalp is progressively getting worse, um, Mainly my hairline is really bad. Um, constantly itching, constantly flaking, it's grim. I started using coconut oil um, for my scalp. So essentially I put this all over my scalp. I literally just massage it in. As you know, coconut oil, it does come out pretty solid, but then it will kind of melt in your hands. Um, yeah, so literally just get it out like this. Literally, I'm just checking the mirror, but rub it into my scalp and just really get it all in the hairline massage it in let it melt in leave it on for a couple of hours and then <laughs> the grim part trusted knit comb now i promise you i don't have knits it is grim i'm not gonna lie so basically leave the coconut oil to melt my plaques that are all over my scalp uh, a couple of hours later come in with the trusted knit comb and basically just go through my scalp, just pull up any like scabs. Um, it's painful, it's sore, it leaves your scalp stinging, it leaves your scalp sore afterwards. But if I don't do this and I let them build up, I sit there and I tend to I scratch and I feel something there and I'll pick and I'll pull and it's really, I've noticed it's thinning my hair a lot around here, which is just giving me like a complex, so especially here as well so I just want to start managing it um, as you can see I do use coconut oil a lot they do say with coconut oil whether you're using it for skincare hair care to go with the virgin the organic now I get this from it's a spectrum brand I get it from lucky vitamin because obviously I'm in the UK I do believe you can't buy spectrum un Excuse my dog just bark it. Right, I believe that you can only get Spectrum in the States, so Lucky Vitamin, you can pretty much buy like American brands and worldwide brands and get them shipped to the UK at pretty reasonable prices. I will put the price of this below, but I could swear I paid like seven pounds for this, which I think is brilliant for 857 mil. They have changed their packaging now, so this is the new packaging. I literally go through this a lot. I used to use it on my skin. A lot of psoriasis sufferers swear by coconut oil. I don't, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't do anything for me. I don't feel like it moisturizes. I feel like, I like a thick body butter and I like when I moisturize for it to sink in and kind of sit on my skin all day. Personally, I feel coconut oil with me, it doesn't sink into my pores, it just sits there. And also, when I was using it on my face, I was getting a lot of bumps, like whiteheads, and my facialist actually said I have, she said I have whiteheads, and she said it is down to using things like olive oil, coconut oil. They don't, essential oils will go into your pores, where coconut oil and other oil will sit on top of your pores and create bumps. I wouldn't recommend it for skincare. Maybe it's like a make makeup remover or a face mask, anything that you're gonna kind of wipe off pretty soon but i wouldn't use it as moisturizer on my face additionally after getting the knit comb going through my hair getting all the plaques out i'm going to start using 
This is something that I've seen advertised online. It's meant to be amazing. Saurian head fluid. And it is basically, I think it was called Ayurveda. I will link it below. But it's an old, I believe, Indian um, remedy of using turmeric. I should have done this research first, but it uses things like turmeric and that kind of thing. And it, um, it just works, apparently, with scalp psoriasis or even skin psoriasis. It's pretty thick. And to me, it actually smells like plaster. It smells to me like someone has come around and plastered your wall, to be honest. It's not unpleasant, but then I suppose some people would find it unpleasant. It definitely, definitely smells like plaster or concrete, one of the two. So I'm gonna basically leave this. I've not got greasy hair, I have got coconut oil in. I'm gonna leave it in for a few hours to set and essentially to make the plaques in my head um, a lot softer. I'm gonna go in with the knit comb, go through my scalp and get all the plaques out. I'm then gonna wash my hair, condition my hair, and then I'm just gonna put this in and I'm gonna leave it in overnight and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this multiple times a week, maybe like at least twice, maybe three times a week, and I will hopefully see an improvement on this because already I've only done this twice already. I can't remember, this is grim, but I can't remember the last time I could part my hair and not see thick plaques. It's nowhere near amazing, but it's a lot better to be able to part my hair and not see in every little corner. I don't want to say dandruff because it's not dandruff, but to see flakes all over. Um, you know, it's pretty bad all around my hairline, but I have definitely seen improvements within my hair. So hopefully, within a few weeks, I'll be a lot, lot clearer. So I've just washed my hair, my scalp, ugh, actually feels so sore. Like if you can imagine, I have got the knit comb, it literally just pulled up all of the scabs that were like round my hairline and the back of my head as well. Yeah, so it's pretty sore, it's not a pleasant process. Another thing I did want to mention as well is this. Um, I'm going to show you my other hand because my thumbnail is not painted on this one. Is this. So, I don't know what it's called. It's brilliant. I got it off Amazon for about £5. It's basically a shampoo brush, I suppose. And you literally put the shampoo in your hair as you normally would. Massage it all in as you would. Basically use this, actually. It's Merlion brand so literally you just rub this all over your head it's not actually for psoriasis it's for actually getting the shampoo into your scalp much better to give you a better clean i was recommended i can't remember who by but i heard this is really good you know for getting the plaques off your head i really noticed a massive improvement in my scalp but it is it is nice to use i'm not gonna lie it's quite nice to use saurian now the way that i use this Right, I'm literally looking into the screen right now. So, just, it doesn't go, my psoriasis does not go too far back, maybe like here, which is an improvement actually, because at one point, it went all the way back. So literally, just work this into the scalp. And it's literally, I need to look this up actually. I'm gonna leave a link below. But I know it's got turmeric in. It's got a lot of, it's all natural. Which is, I'm all about that natural life. Now I do get it really bad behind my ears as well. So I do put it on the hairline behind there. This is literally the second time I'm using this product. And the first time I used it and it was about a week ago. I really need to like maybe set aside two days a week to use this product consistently. It smells a 
bit weird. It smells, the only thing I can put it down to or compare it to, it smells like plaster. You know, like you get plaster that you, you board like plaster onto a wall. It's the only thing, it's not unpleasant, but it smells like plaster. Now, I'm literally just going to put my hair up. always put just a bit of argan oil in my hair. Um, I literally just use, don't know if you can see it. This is Hair Expertise Argan Oil, and it's got vitamin E in. I have used this product for years. I know this vlog is not about what I use in my hair, but... Um, my hair was really long. I've actually recently just had it cut. Um, still pretty long, but it used to be much longer. And my hair used to get so dry. It was actually at the point I was going to cut it all off. Like I was literally going to shave my whole head because I was just so sick I couldn't get a, my fingers through it or anything. And my hairdresser told me about argan oil. So I started using that. It's been a lifesaver. I've literally used this since... I get it from Boots and it first came out, I remember it was 19.99. I thought, oh, this is a bit expensive. I think it's about 6.99 now, but I've been using it for years, ever since my hairdresser. She didn't recommend this brand, she just recommended Argan Oil. And I thought, if you're gonna use one, you might as well kind of use the, you know, the best one. I've used that for about six years, maybe. But yeah, in regards to my scalp, because this is not a hair vlog, in regards to my scalp, we just dab it in for external use only apply gently at strong scaly and chapped skin do not rub just dab i don't know why you can't rub it's the same thing isn't it maybe it's not to irritate your scalp i don't know the optimal care effects is achieved when used daily in combination with saurian shampoo so this brand does do a shampoo as well which i've not used i do plan on using when i get paid and I've not used it daily. I've been using it, well, I've used it once. I'm going to start using it maybe two times a week. I think whenever I start to get a build-up of plaques, I'm just going to do the coconut treatment, do the saurian treatment, and see how it improves. But yeah, so far, I would definitely recommend this. It's natural. It's not an unpleasant smell. The reviews are amazing. And from what I've seen from one use, it's pretty good. And I don't use that lightly. I would never advertise a product if I didn't think it was any good. Do leave in the box below if you've got any recommendations for your scalp or anything to avoid.